it's Be With It Classy Creative here, and today I am going to show you how I made my sock turkey. And um, thank you for being here. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, like, and comment, and share with your friends. Yay. Anyways, let me show you my turkey. They're so cute. We got Aaliyah, we have HJ, and we have Austin Turkey. And for everybody who doesn't know, those are my babies, those are my kids. And these are great craft pro uh, craft projects to do. Um, just something fun to do with your kids. Really cute to put out during the holiday time. And you got a couple little pieces of felt in there. I'm going to take it and kind of just flatten it down. Then I'm going to take the corners, the ends, I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to tie it in the knot. I like to do double knots. That way, no rice spills out. And just in case you are worrying about rice coming out, I'm going to seal it. How am I going to seal it? I'm going to seal it with my glue gun. Just a second. So once I have double knotted her, this turkey will be a girl. Oh, okay. Once I've double knotted um, my turkey, I'm going to cut the ends off like this. And I'm going to take my trusty dusty glue gun just my little cheap little glue gun I got from the craft store and I'm going to sell off the ends here that way Mr. Turkey or Miss Turkey does not open up because kids like to play with the turkeys they don't want the rice to spill all over the place so I'm gonna let that dry and once it dries I'll come back and show you some other things that I'm going to do to make the turkey come alive all right so here are a few things that I'm going to use to complete my turkey I have a pipe cleaner a piece a a piece of um, ribbon and some felt now I'm going to use start with the felt first and the felt is going to be for two different things. The feet and a little bit. I think those are cute. And I folded my felt in half. That way I have two feet. And I'm gonna just cut it like so. All right, so I cut out some little feet. Go sit down. I cut out some little feet and they are too cute. Just gonna cut this part. And I'm gonna flip it over so you can't see the black. And then now I'm gonna just cut a little corner of the felt and make a beak. Doesn't need to be a big beak something cute for our little turkey's face there we go there we go that is so cute so now I am now that my turkey now that my turkey the glue is dry here I'm going to Flip my turkey over, move my feet out the way for a second. I'm gonna pause on the calls for the turkey feet. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm gonna tie it around like so. And here is gonna be the turkey's head. I want the body to be bigger than the head, but I still want the head to be a little fat too. So 
a fat little turkey. And you want to make sure that the line of the back of the sock or the line that will be in the front of the where the toes will be is in the back. So squeeze my little turkey head, mold it, and I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to tie it. You could do this with a rubber band. You can do it with lots of different things. You can do it with some other type of ribbon, but this is what I have. So I'm just gonna use what I have. And here we go, got a little turkey scarf. Uh -oh. Not in the camera, a little turkey scarf. There we go. And just to make it cute, I like to cut the ends like that. Now I'm making the mama turkey. This is me as a turkey. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this one a little girlier than my other turkeys. And now I'm going to put on my turkey's feet. And if you wanna mold it a little more, you just push it down. That'll make it rounder. Isn't that cute? You can push the head down. That rice is real flexible. And so now I'm going to put some, sit my turkey to the side put some glue on my turkey's feet right here. What? and I'm going to just gonna place my little turkey on here one foot on and the other foot like that. <laughs> Little turkey feet. And just kind of push it down so that that glue sticks to it. Little turkey feet. And now it's time to make the turkey come to life. I'm going to put the turkey's little nose on. Little beak actually. It's a beak. Put the turkey's beak on. like so and I'm gonna take the feathers and glue them on the back of the back of the turkey and the head. That way helps my little turkey stand up. <laughs> About two and two and a half inches long, and I fold it and I'm going to twist it at the top. Leave like a little teardrop at the bottom. And now I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to stick it here. Stick it there. <laughs> now she really looks like a turkey. And that is my cute little Thanksgiving sock turkey.